let's have a look at how we can edit our charts and graphs in SPSS. Now to access the chart editor, you either right click and choose edit content in separate window, or you can simply double click, which is what I'm gonna do. So double click, and I, the chart editor has opened. Um, you'll see in the background my chart is hashed out. That means I'm in chart editor mode. So in order to get back into my regular chart, I need to make sure I close this when I'm finished. You also have a properties window. Um, if you don't have one or if you close it by accident, you can always open it again using this icon here. It says show properties window. Now the first thing um, I like to do is to resize my chart because this is too big to stick into a document and when I shrink it down inside Microsoft Word it usually makes my font much too small. So I'm going to change it to 275. I'm always going to maintain the aspect ratio so that it looks correct. Okay, and now that my size is much better for putting into a document, I'm going to start editing parts of my chart. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to edit this label here because I think it's a bit long and clunky and I just want it to say smoking status. Now in SPSS when you edit, you always want to single click. Single click your way through and you'll get what you want. If you try double clicking, you'll just end up frustrated. So I've single clicked and now I want to go into the text and edit so I single click again. So I'm going to highlight and put smoking status, which is much better. Um, I can also come down here and I can single click my axis title and I can single click again and then I can edit if I want to. So maybe I don't want to have that in brackets. I can do the same thing for this title here. Um, you'll notice that my graph doesn't have a title. I can put one on and I can do that with this icon up here. So if I wanted to insert a title then I could put status by gender. Okay, now let's look at how we can change these bars. Remember single click? So I'm going to single click and when I do I get a new properties window. I'm going to choose the fill and border tab You'll notice that my fill is um, blocked out, so is my pattern, and that's because both of my bars are chosen, and they can't both be the same. So in order to unlock the fill, I need to just choose one category. I'm going to choose smoker, which is blue, so single click on smoker, and now my fill is unlocked. I'm going to go ahead and change this to orange. Click apply. You always have to click apply when you make a change. I'm going to single click on the green, and I'm going to change the pattern to a checker apply. Um, you can also change the border if you wanted to. You can change the weight. So if I, I'm still a non-smoker, I could change the style of the border to say dashed. Okay, so now that I've changed the fill on the border, um, let's look at all um, changing our axes labels. So if I single click on female, I can change the style. Now um, I can also change the font type and uh, my font size. The minimum size is the smallest font size. Um, SPSS will make your font as you shrink your graph. So if I made my graph quite small, the minimum size would be 6. So I could increase that to 8, but first I have to increase my preferred size and then my minimum size. So SPSS will try to make your font a size 10, um, but if your chart gets too small, it will make it a size 8 because that's the minimum click apply so it's going to increase in a bit um, I can also change the scale on the left hand side now typically this scale doesn't need to be changed it's fine as it is but I can click on the the scale tab and choose a minimum and maximum point or if I want any margin, uh, margins meaning some extra gaps at the bottom or at the top okay um, in the chart editor just have fun play around see what you can do if you make a mistake you can always use the undo um, option here um, and undo a disaster if one happens because it happens sometimes. In the next video I'm going to show you how to uh, modify a scatter plot because it's a different type of graph.